Good evening, my name is Brooke Weiss. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak. I am also a concerned parent. Um, to find out that sexually explicit material is in Wake County Schools. I am glad and grateful to hear that you're throwing um, this back to committee and gonna look at it some more. Let me help you understand what pervasively vulgar means. It means that if the content of the book were put up on a movie screen and it received a rated PG-13 or an NC-17 or a rated R, that it should not be in the school libraries. That doesn't mean that you're banning books. It means that you're insisting on age-appropriate material in an educational setting. You're not banning books because if a parent chooses to allow their child access to those materials, they can still go buy the books on Amazon, go to a public library, or go to Barnes & Noble. Um, the idea that these books are um, inclusive and that every student should be able to see themselves in these books um, is just not fair. Just because one child may be broken doesn't mean that you break the rest of the children in the environment. I can tell you as a victim of sexual abuse, I was abused for years when I was a child, reading a book like that or having access to a book like that would have been traumatic for me. It's traumatic for me as an adult just to review some of the books that I have to look at that are in the school systems now. So I'm glad that you're gonna look at it again. I hope that you will make responsible decisions as to what you allow the children in your system to be exposed to. Because it's on you. It's on you to make the decisions. You've decided that parents aren't able to make the decisions. When we send our children to school, we're not relinquishing our rights as parents and we don't co-parent with the government. We do not want our children reading stuff like that. Sexualizing children is damaging to their brains. It's damaging to their emotional development. Their little brains are not ready and capable to handle mature topics like that. And it should be up to a parent to decide when topics like that, when their children are exposed to topics like that. So I hope that you very carefully consider what you will continue to allow in your libraries, in your classrooms, in the curriculum, because it's a very important decision. Children's mental health is at risk. Thank you for allowing me to speak today.